Hey guys, welcome to VTechAcademy.com. And here in this presentation, we are going to discuss degrees and gradients. So here in this video, we are going to discuss this topic under three different sections. So coming to the first section, where we are going to deal with the introduction part, and in the second section, we are going to deal with the relationship between degrees and gradients. And in the last part, we are going to discuss few examples. So, coming to the first part. So, first, let me define degree. So, if a rotation from initial side to the terminal side is 1 by 360th of 1 revolution, then the angle is said to have a measure of 1 degree. So, this can be explained with a rough diagram over here. So here we have a circle with center O which completes one revolution. So the angle made will be equal to 360 degrees that is a complete angle. So here the circumference of a circle subtends an angle whose measure will be 2 pi units in radians at the center. So thus we get 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. And here by transferring 2 to the right hand side, we get pi radians is equal to 360 divided by 2, which will be equal to 180 degrees. So here pi radians is equal to 180 degrees is the relation between radians and degrees. And now in order to find the value of 1 degree, just by transferring 180 to the right hand side. So here we get pi radians divided by 180. And then let me define radian. So here a radian is defined as the angle subtended by an arc of length equal to the radius of the circle at its center. So here the value of radian can be calculated by just transferring pi to the right hand side. So we get here radian is equal to 180 degrees divided by pi. And now let us proceed and discuss the relation between degrees and radians. So here we already know that circumference of a circle is given by the formula 2 pi r which subtends an angle whose measure is 2 pi units in radians at the center. So thus we get 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees or pi radians is equal to 180. And now let us discuss this briefly. So here the circumference of the circle that is 2 pi r which substance an angle of 360 degrees. So here we can write 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. And here the value of pi radians will be equal to 360 divided by 2 which will be equal to 180 degrees. And now in order to find the value of 1 radian which is represented by 1 c will be equal to 180 divided by pi and here by substituting the value of pi we get 180 degrees divided by 22 divided by 7 so here by simplifying we get the value as 57 degrees 0.16 minutes as the value of 1 radian and then let us calculate the value of 1 degree so the value of 1 degree will be equal to pi radians divided by 180 and here by simplifying we get the result as 0 0.01746 radians approximately and now let me discuss one more relationship so in order to discuss let us consider a circle of radius r and instead of arc of length as r let us consider an arc of length l so since an arc of length r subtends an angle whose measure is 1 radian and the arc of length will subtend an angle theta whose measure is L by r. So hence we have theta equal to L by r or L equal to r theta where theta is expressed in radians. So make a note that when no unit of measurement is specified for an angle, it is assumed that the unit is associated with is a radian. 
and then a formula connecting the three systems will be d by 90 which will be equal to g by 100 is equal to c by pi by 2 where d denotes degrees and g denotes grades whereas c denotes radians and now let us proceed and discuss few examples so now coming to the first example where we have to express the sexagesimal measure of 270 degrees as a radian measure so now in order to convert the sexagesimal measure that is 1 degree as a radian measure we already know the formula that is 1 degree is equal to pi c by 180 and now in order to convert 270 into radian measure let us multiply 270 into pi c by 180 and here by simplifying we get 92 times is 180 and 93 times is 270 so here we get the result as 3 pi c by 2 which is the radian measure of 270 degrees and now coming to the second example so here the given example is 3 pi c by 4 which is the radian measure and we have to convert this into sexagesimal measure so in order to convert we already know that pi radians is equal to 180 degrees and then substituting the value of pi radians in the given example we get 3 into 180 divided by 4 and here by simplifying we get 4 1 time is 4 and 4 45 times is 180 and then by multiplying we get the result over here as 135 degrees and now let us consider an another example where the radius of a circle is 14 centimeters and the angle subtended by an arc of a circle at the center is 45 degrees then find the length of arc so here we already know that 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radians so now in order to convert the sexagesimal measure of angle into radians let us multiply 45 into pi by 180 radians and here by simplifying we get 45 1 time is 45 and 45 4 times is 180 so here we get pi by 4 radians as the radian measure of 45 degrees and now we have to find L that is length of arc which is given by the formula L equal to R theta and then substituting the values of R and theta we get R that is 14 into theta that is pi by 4 and here by substituting the value of pi we get here 14 by 4 into 22 divided by 7 and here by simplifying we get 2 2 times is 4 and 2 11 times is 22 and then 7 1 time is 7 and 7 2 times is 14 and here again 2 1 time is 2 and 2 1 time is 2 so here we get the result as 11 centimeters which is the length of an arc so this was a basic introduction on degrees and radians Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.